Hi, it's Ross from SDS. Welcome back to the channel. Today we've got the 4-Minute RV10 fix. Uh, the RV10 videos have been pretty popular, so we've got another short one here. It's going to cover some of the SDS parts on the engine, as well as uh, some of the uh, warning systems on the G3X, and a little bit of takeoff video, and uh, going to cover the Avio Engineering zip tips. Some of you guys might find that interesting too. So, hope you like it, and uh, thanks for watching. This is Les Kearney's RV10 fitted with the SDS EFI that you've seen before in uh, several other videos on the channel. In addition to the SDS EFI, Les also has a set of our billet valve covers and a billet flywheel on his engine, as you'll see here shortly. And here we see the case mounted fuel block and the case-mounted coil pack. Here's the SDS billet flywheel. Uh, it weighs about one pound less than the factory Lycoming one. Here's the coil pack for the bottom plugs mounted in the original magneto location. And here's the top of the engine detail, and we're focusing in here on the uh, top mount injector bosses, uh, plumbing and uh, wiring. Les has done a very nice job on the, the installation here. And Les just recently installed these Avio Engineering Zip Tip Premier winglets. Uh, these are pretty cool, as you'll see here shortly with the lights on. And he found in some uh, testing uh, with full flap, Stall speeds uh, were down to 44 to 45 knots indicated, which I think is a bit slower than uh, with the factory tips on there. So these wing tips incorporate uh, the strobes, landing lights, and nav lights all in one. Uh, very visible. You've got the wigwag feature you can see here. So, if I go ECU select one, I get a message here, and I get a master warning. If I select, I get primary ECU off, um, offline, and a master warning again. So that tells you whenever you've got one of these switches out of position. On the fuel pumps, I've got one fuel pump on. If I get a master warning, the auxiliary one automatically comes on. I'm planning on doing the same thing with the ignition coils. And I'm also planning on doing the same thing with the check engine light as well. So if the check engine light comes on, you'll get a master warning and it will automatically put the auxiliary fuel pump on as well. This next clip shows how super clean the engine runs with SDS EFI on it. Absolutely no deposits out of the pipe. Last item here is a four-way GPS chart, just showing how uh, we calculated the TAS. This test was at 10,500 feet, and it less has the so-called slow MT prop. Looks like it does pretty well here. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you in the next video.